Hey, what's going on? Rakeem Madison here, and I'm back with another Facebook Live, and I'm going to be sharing some valuable tips for you here in this video. Um, so if you guys are hopping on, whether you are live with me or you're watching the replay, um, something I want to ask you is, have you just been, you know, putting out content, putting video after video, Facebook Live, just any piece of content, and you you just seem to always be attracting, whether it's the broke people, the wrong people, people that just are in a victim mindset, and just they they're, they're not on the path to pers the, the path of personal development. So if that's you, and you have just you know you just been running into all those people, you feel like you're doing it all right. Um, I want to share some value with you guys here on this slide, and I want to talk about. Um, you know, what, what we have in the title there, which is who are you really speaking to in your content? Right. So with that being said, guys, as usual, I'm going to go ahead and put the topic up on the screen. As you can see here, who are you really speaking to in your content? Right. Are you attracting all the broke people? Are you attracting all the victim minded people? Are you attracted to people? Are you attracting people to your business that are asking you questions like, is it one of those things? Um, does, is it everybody at the top? Uh, everybody at the top making money? Like, is it though? Is it one? Of, is, it, is it those people that you're attracting um, in, your, in your business? Right. If, if you're attracting those type of people, I'm going to share with you three questions you need to be asking yourself before you even start to create any content. Now, maybe some of you that are that are watching this, you probably already started creating, doing Facebook Lives. You already started doing like, you know, videos or any pieces of content that you're currently doing. But I'm gonna be sharing with you three questions, okay? Three questions you wanna ask yourself, right? So um, before we get into those, um, for everybody that's watching with me, let me know below below in the comments where you're watching from. I would love to connect with different people and also edify a few people on the screen here, so you know other people can check you out. And if they want to connect with you, then they'll have the um, you know the opportunity to do so. All right, so um, do that. Uh, just go ahead and knock that out, and uh, I'm going to get into today's content. All right, guys. So. Um, and, and, and I kind of want to take you back. I want to tail back a little bit. So, um, I, I, I got started online in 2014 and when I, when I first got started, I didn't, I didn't really have a mentor. I didn't really have somebody showing me the way I didn't, I didn't really have that. And so a, lo a lot of times what I did is I just did what I thought was right. And along with that, I kept running into people. Um, I, I kept attracting people who were on the same vibration as me. So understand that we're all energy, right? We're all created, um, you know, with, uh, you know, uh, with it, with energy. So if we're on a portal, like, like I'm on a portal right now, which is a, a Facebook live. So I have, in, there's energy that, that, that's flowing through this portal. So if I'm on here and I'm talking to the wrong audience, if I, if I'm speaking and I'm, I'm, re, I'm resonating with people who are on a lower vibration, when they're on that lower vibration and I'm speaking, I'm only going to attract them. So there's a certain language, um, you know, that you use when you're trying to attract uh, a higher vibration type of person. So uh, like, for example, usually when you tell you might use sometimes you'll hear like, uh, you know, rags to riches stories. And it'll say like, you know, the, a person went from zero to this now. Believe it or not, sometimes that can actually attract the people who are at the lower vibration or the people who are just completely flatlined. And so now they like, oh, well, this person went from zero. So in their mind, in some of their minds, they believe that it's not going to cost them any money. When that person shows up, you realize very quickly because most of them at a victim mindset, most of them are completely flatlined, bro. And, you know, not to not to not in a not to come off in a negative way there. But what I'm saying is if you're attracting these type of people in your business and you're speaking to people who are not on the path to personal development at all, they don't want to get better. And and another thing I want I want to point this out um, um, a lot like like some people may may not believe this, but I, I find it more and more common um, the, the older I get. So. Um, uh, humans are addicted to suffering. So let me let me give you an idea. Uh, uh, let me give you an example. 
So when I was at a very, um, a, a very young age, I used to play games all the time. Like, and I'm talking about like video games. This, and it's nothing wrong with playing video games, but I used to play video games a very, like a, a lot, like <laughs> a lot, guys. I'm talking about like when I, if, even like when I wouldn't go to school from the time I woke up in the morning, right? I still remember from when I was like seven years old, from the time I woke up in the morning, I would play games until it was the next morning. Like I would consistently be doing that. And that became an addiction to me. Okay. That became an addiction to me. It was to the point one time where I was playing a game and I didn't want to leave the controller. Like I, I think I, I, I want to say my mom was calling me and, you know, I was playing a game and, and, and I was just playing it, playing it, playing it. And I got to the point where I almost like peed my pants. Like, I think I almost did. Like, I think I actually ended up doing it. Like I got to the point where I was just like, ah, I don't want to let the controller go. That was an addiction for me. Right. And each and every one of us, we all have some type of addiction right now. And so um, there's there's this thing called, um, you know, the human condition. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, you know, people get on the path to personal development. Maybe they start getting some results and then instantly they go back to doing the things that were keeping them broke in the first place or keeping them in a situation that they were in. So here they're high. Right. They're starting to raise their vibration and then whoo, they sabotage. They go right back to the sabotage. And, and I actually made a post about this. Um, I don't remember exactly, I don't remember exactly what, what I was talking about, but I think it was about a man's plan. So maybe if you're if you're watching this right now, um, probably just kind of eventually go back to my page and you'll you'll probably see exactly the post um, that I was referring to. But kind of jumping back on topic, guys. Um, um, look like we got a few comments. So let me let me see who we got uh, for the comments. Uh, Jonathan Jones says, watching from Douglas, Georgia. Uh, shout out to you, brother Mon. Thanks, th thanks for uh, hopping on with me, man. Shout out to you. Put you up on the uh, screen here. Coffee County in the building, man. Shout out to you. So yeah, guys. Um, kind of going back to the topic. Um, your audience, your, your your content. So when you're putting out content, and there are people that go live consistently. There's people that do videos consistently. There's people that are making posts consistently. And, you know, when they're having conversations with the people, they realize like, man, like I, I'm talking to all these people. And it seems like everybody that I'm talking to that either doesn't have the money, they're in a victim mindset or they're asking me questions about pyramid schemes or whatever. Right. And the reason. Right. And now we're going to kind of transition into the actual three questions that you should be asking yourself before you even think about creating content or if you're already doing it kind of just kind of restabilize all right all right so the first question you want to ask yourself is who do you want to be in the marketplace who do you who do you want to be like what do you want to be known as so for example uh and this kind of falls into creating your own special sauce my millionaire mentor talks about this um quite often right because he, he not only is he teaching us his formula, right? What he does to get results, but his goal is to get us to a point where we have our own secret sauce. People look for us in the marketplace um, to, to, to solve the problems that they currently have. Now, if you're in network marketing, direct sales, uh, MLM, and affiliate marketing, um, uh, uh, there's, there's like a few common problems um, that people in the industry deal with. Number one, they don't know how to generate leads. And then for some, they might know how to generate leads, but you can give them 20,000 leads and they wouldn't know what to do with them, right? And then there's a lot of people who want to get to the higher ticket products, but because of the first two issues that I just talked about generating leads and not knowing how to close them, then they won't have the money. So then guess what? They then go and they go and um, uh, they go and try to uh, get, a, get a credit card or they get a try to get a business loan or somebody tries to get them a business loan just so that they can go and get the money and then make the pro they may make the purchase for the higher ticket product but then guess what they had to go get a credit card which now they have to pay interest they have to pay a ton of interest on because anything that you borrow you're gonna have to pay interest on so what what you know what we're taught and you know in our mentoring is how to how to get the, the 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 thing on the front end how to build that budget on the front end 
without having to pay for any ads, without having to do anything like that, right? We're just learning the, the fundamental basics of doing that so we can build that budget, right? And that's just for, that's just, you know, that's, um, like I said, those are common issues. Generating leads, um, uh, they, they don't have a budget, um, they, they hate harassing their friends and family. So what can you create, right? What, what, what can you create and what do you wanna be known in the marketplace um, so people are reaching out to you because they have those problems and you're the solution to the problem, what you have and what you're putting out in the marketplace. So that's a question that you want to um, ask yourself. Who do you want to be in the marketplace? What do you want to be known for? Facebook ads, Bing ads, YouTube, uh, SEO, um, blog. Like, What do you want to be known for and what problems are you solving in, in, in the marketplace? All right. So that's the first question. All right, so it looks like we got a comment here. Uh, Judy says, hola, hola, Julie. I mean, Judy, uh, good to see you. Appreciate you for stopping by. So yeah, guys, the second question is, what type of person do you want to serve? So uh, a, lot of, a, lot of, uh, a lot of what these questions are doing is they're helping you get clear on your target market. So something that I actually did um, is, uh, and this was actually recommended by by my uh, my, my millionaire mentor, is to um, get clear on your perfect business partners, right? So so for example, are are the people that you're trying to attract are they already on the path to personal development? Do they have marketing and leadership skills, right? Do they do they have these things already? And that's that. Those are just two of the things. Are they on the path to personal development or do they have marketing and leadership skills? Because those are the people that are going to go to the end. Those are going to those are going to be the people that build the business. Those are going to be the people that go to the next level with you. Right. And, and those are the type of people, especially for me, that I feel like even if it wasn't just an online thing, I feel like I can actually be with those people. Like if we're on a cruise or we decide to go on a trip. Those are the type of people that when I'm speaking in my content, I want to attract those type of people. So you got to ask yourself, what type of person do you actually want to serve in a marketplace? Who do you want to serve? Right. And write it down on a piece of paper. Like I actually have um, like right here in my pad, um, I wrote down on the top of my. Uh, uh, you guys probably won't be able to see it clearly, but. What I did is I wrote down my perfect business partners. So you see, um, you, you may not be able to see that, but you see it says perfect business partners. All right. So that's what I did. And then I wrote down clearly who are my perfect business partners. Are they married? Do they have kids? Do they own a home? Right. And, and I wrote those things down. So when I'm speaking on these lives, I'm mostly speaking to those people. And that's what you want to do. That's that's extremely important before you spend a dime on advertising, because I'm telling you, if you if you um, you know, if you get started in the industry and you um, you think that you're just going to go out there and run ads and you think that it's just going to work like that, even if you get the training, if you don't know who you're speaking to, if you don't have the right targeting, you're going to waste away tons and tons and tons. You're going to waste away thousands of dollars. And, you know, I can speak from experience because when I got started in 2014, I was spending <laughs> my, my first um, sponsor in a business. Uh, the first business that I ever got started in back in 2014, I invested twenty five hundred dollars to get started in that business. Now, some people complain about, you know, 80 or 100 or whatever, but I invested twenty five hundred in that business. And for the first six months, I didn't make a dime. Now, how many people do you know that would have invested twenty five hundred dollars and then six months later they didn't have anything going and they were still pushing? Right. But what I what I realized is that, you know, I was doing I was doing what I thought was right. I didn't have somebody to course correct me like I have now and that I've had pretty much uh, over a good amount of time now, just about three years now I've had you know, a millionaire mentor that has showed me how to get into the money, how to, how to get into the money and to the point where, you know, you can have hundred dollar days and that you can have thousand dollar days or you can have thousand dollar weeks, whatever, whatever you can believe in your mind that is possible for you, then it'll be possible for you. <laughs> that's, that's, 
that's really the easiest. Um, that, that That's the simplest way that I can put it is you have to believe in your mind that it's possible that you can have these big months because the, the usually what it what it comes down to is that uh, most people don't believe like they don't believe in every cell of their body that they can have a ten thousand dollar month. Or, or, or even higher or even lower than that, whatever, whatever you can believe in your mind, because uh, until you do it, your subconscious mind doesn't have the data that it's possible. So something and I know I'm kind of getting off task, but for the people who want to hit a goal, right, you you well, you you, you want to hit an income goal. You want to hit an income, uh, you know, have a nice income, uh, uh, hit, hit an income. Uh, can't even think right now. <laughs> you, you're trying to hit a goal. You got an income goal. And let's just say, for instance, your income goal is to is four thousand dollars per month. All right. Let's just say that that's your income goal. Now, what you want to do is you want to set an intention. You want to set an intention and you have to believe in every single cell of your body that you can hit that income goal. But what most people do. Right. And I did this, too, before it was it was broken down to me on how I should be looking at it is let's say, for instance, you let's just go for 10,000 because most people that I talk to, they say about $10,000 per month. So if your $10,000 is, is if $10,000 is your monthly goal, you shouldn't look at the $10,000 like this. Hopefully, hopefully everybody get what I'm saying. You shouldn't look at the $10,000 like this. You should instead look at the $10,000 like this. So you look over the 10,000. Okay. I see the 10,000 and it's not, and, and, and it starts to not feel like, you know, it starts to not feel like it's just this thing that's way up here that you have to achieve. So you want to look over it. Okay. There's the 10,000, right. And you have to believe complete blind faith that you're going to be able to do it. You have to walk in faith and set an intention, right. And, and it's crazy how that works. And, and another thing that works, um, and this is actually what I do. So every morning um, when I get up, um, what I do is, you know, I do my little routine. And then the mirror that you can see, you guys can probably see behind me here, like over there. So I get up, you know, and I go to the mirror and, you know, I just I, I speak to myself. So when I when I speak to myself, what that's doing and I'm doing that every day. Right. I'm telling myself, you know, you're the best. Right. Raheem, you are a great leader. You know, and, and, I, and I keep I keep continuing to tell myself those things. And, and I'm, what I'm doing is I'm like my, I'm raising my vibration. Right. I'm raising the vibration for the day, because when you when you um, when you leave your room or you leave your house, you're going to run into, you know, people. There's going to be people that tell you, try to tell you um, what's possible for you. So if you're pumping yourself up and it's not I don't really want to say it's pumping up. But what you're doing is you're raising your vibration. You kind of you're kind of like RoboCop. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're kind of like RoboCop. So when somebody tells you, oh, that's not possible, you're just kind of like, cool, cool. You know what I'm saying? You're just you're, you're, you're relaxed. You're not you're like, oh, I'm not listening to these people. And the, and, the, and the more you do it, I'm telling you, the more you do it, if you start to do it every single day, you're literally going to become RoboCop. How many people on here have actually watched the movie RoboCop? If you ever, if you ever watch RoboCop, just type RoboCop down below in the comments. If you're, if you're on here watching, and I actually used to watch that a lot as a kid. But this is how it was broke down, you know, um, you know, to me, uh, from my person, uh, from my uh, millionaire mentor. Um, you know, you just have to get to a point where your vibration becomes permanent. Like your 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 high vibration, you're here, and there's multiple different ways that you can actually um, raise your vibration. Uh, you know, such as you know the mirror work, um, creating a 3D vision board, right, and and you know proclaiming to 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 the universe, you know, while you're sitting, while you're actually looking um, at your vision board. There's there's multiple different ways. Go to the Bentley dealer. Um, that's actually something that I did uh, about a week ago, a week, a week or a week and a half ago. There's many things that you can do to raise your vibration. I remember when I, I, I went to the I went to the Bentley dealer uh, about a week and a half ago, sat in the car. And, you know, I was just visualizing while I was in the car and just it may sound weird to some of you. But, you know, I had it's almost like I was I was connected with the car. OK. And then I remember going to the. Uh, uh, I remember going to the Maybach. I remember going to the Maybach 
Um, it was like the inside. It wasn't like an outside. I, I walked in and just the energy, <laughs> the energy of being around something that cost five hundred thousand dollars and being able to just be in that presence. It changes your vibration. It, it, it it's, it's like a it, it, it's like you, you it's something you get goosebumps from. Right. And I, I don't know how many people on here like have have like like been able to really like I don't know how many people on here are on the path to personal development, but when you can use your mind and and you and you visualize like you have your eyes closed and some people can do it with their eyes open, but when you visualizing, um, you know, like like what's already possible because I don't know if you guys realize this, but there's two realities that exist that like at the same time. So there's everything that you don't want, and then there's everything that you one. But most people, they focus on this over here, which is everything that they don't want. So most of what happens in their life is everything that they don't want. <laughs> so these two exist at the same time. But if your vibration is low, then you're always going to go over here and you're always going to get the things that you don't want, period. Like that's and that's just how it works, guys. So if you can get to a point where you're constantly doing mirror work, you're going to the Bentley dealer or you're going to the, you know, um, you know, putting on a Rolex watch. And I'm actually uh, I'm actually going to be doing that uh, here this weekend. I'm supposed to went last weekend, but when put on a Rolex watch, just kind of raising the vibration, guys. That's that's really what this is about. And it's not about working harder. Right. Because there's a lot of people that are working hard right now in their business and they're still not getting the results that they want. It's not about working harder. It's about thinking better. Let me say that again. It's not about working harder. It's about thinking better. And if you can think better and you can believe with complete blind faith, then you'll be able to go to the next level. But you got to set that intention for the people that are in business. There's something called compression and breaking inertia. So usually when people first get started in a business, um, a lot of people, um, what they do is they're excited when they first get started, right? They're, they're very excited. Then after about mm, some people about a week, two weeks, the excitement goes away. Well, how do you, how do you, what do you need to do when you first start a business? Your first 30 days is crucial when you first start a business. So what you want to do is you want to set an intention and you want to blaze a trail for that first 30 days because within that first 30 days you've just created an income story right if if you do the proper things if you have the right mentorship if you know what to do to get into that break um to get into that you know just get to your breakthrough and i remember last year um i got started in the company it was right around this time it was like you know december and you know what what happened is and we had a lot of uh, like we had a lot of momentum going into the month of December and within the month of December in that 30 day span, we hit four ranks in the company. Right. We hit four ranks like in that in the month of December, we hit four ranks. And part of that was because of compression. The amount of people we were talking to was extremely high. Right. More than 50 to 75 people a day. And, you know, we were doing multiple different mediums. And then over time, right about right about, I'll say, like going into January, pretty much after the three going into four weeks, boom, we had the income explosion. Right. And, and, and it's crazy. Um, you know, when my when my um, when my mentor, um, he broke this down multiple times before, but I didn't even realize the amount of momentum that we had going into the month, um, you know, last year, last December. And then when he broke it down, it made perfect sense. When you when you build up so much compression, you just you're, you're you're talking to people, you're putting out content, you're putting value in the marketplace, and then all of a sudden there was a there was a wall here before, but all that happened is boom, you kind of just break inertia, right? And, and and I had to go back and really observe like that's what happened, <laughs> that that like that that's what happened, guys. But I know I kind of I kind of, uh, you know, I've been talking about a bunch of stuff right here. Um, I know we got like one more question. So the question was, what type of person do you want to serve? Who do you want to serve? Get clear on your perfect business partners. All right. And the last question is, where do you want to take them? Where do you want to take these people? 
right? Because there's going to be some of them that want to leave the job that they're at. There's going to be some of them that want to scale their business by another two grand a month or another five figures a month. Like what, what do you want? Where do you want to take these people um, based upon all the questions that I just kind of went over, which number one was, who do you want to be in the marketplace? Who do you want to be? What do you want to be known for? What type of person do you want to serve? And then where do you want to take those people um, that you're serving? All right. So so those are the three questions. So let me kind of check out the comments. I see a few comments uh, that we got here. Um, uh, oh, man, we got a few of them. <laughs> uh, Armando says uh, RoboCop. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Jonathan says, this is uh, dope stuff, bro. Appreciate it, Jonathan, man. Much love, man. Um, appreciate all the love and the comments. Uh, Jonathan says, yes, visualization is powerful and incredible. Absolutely, man. And, you know, it, it got to the point where I've been able to use my mind alone, right? Just, just here in the room and use my mind alone. And literally when I start to visualize, like I literally start to get goosebumps. It's the crazy. It, it, it's it's bizarre. <laughs> it's bizarre. But this is what happens. Like, cause I'm a, I'm visual. It's almost like I'm tapping into the the like the reality is already here. Like I said, there's a reality where um, everything that you want and everything that you don't want. So the person that you want to become already exists, but you have to tap into that person. This is like I said, it's it's real bizarre. But this is some of the things that my millionaire mentor talks about. And it's, it's, it's pretty crazy, and it goes real deep, guys. Um, see what we got. Jonathan says, exactly. They live in fear. Got to roll in faith, and let's win. Helping others is incredible. Absolutely, man, 100%. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Jonathan says, uh, uh, appreciate, appreciate, uh, appreciate the uh, prayers, man. And uh, Jonathan says, amazing live, Rakeem. I'll see you at the top, boss. Absolutely, man. Uh, same here, man. I see you crushing it, man. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ace, stay killing it with the copy, man. Keep it up, man, for sure. So, yeah, I just want to, you know, just want to share some value with you guys here on today's Facebook Live. Um, and if you got some value from this, be sure to like or heart and share this with someone who this may actually benefit from. Because um, I didn't, when I first started, guys, I didn't know these things, which is why I spun my wheels for so long until I really got, you know, somebody to kind of course correct me, to point me in the way, you know, the way that I need to go to be able to get to the results that, you know, I was trying to get to. So hopefully you guys got some value from this. Like I said, go ahead and hit the like or heart and definitely share it. And if you want to learn more about how to create content that attracts your perfect audience, be sure to send me a message or just comment audience down below. And I'll be sure to reach out with you and uh, share with you exactly what I'm doing uh, to generate red hot leads and also continue to, you know, generate um, income here online. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, I love you guys. I appreciate all the support and I'll be back at you guys with another Facebook live. Stay tuned. Peace.